Although Steve Cash passed away, he left his friends, family, and fans all with great memories. Steve was an incredibly gifted and talented man, made the best videos ever, and was just hilarious. He made us laugh with his videos and graced us with his awesome music. Which pet friends of Steve Cash do you know in this video? Have you ever wondered where and how they are now? The most famous of Steve's pets is, of course, Sylvester, the cat known for his grumpy personality and bad attitude towards his owner. In most videos, Sylvester spends his time writing in a diary, eating, sleeping, or plotting how to get rid of Cash's other cats. In general, Sylvester seems like a grumpy and cynical cat that only cares about himself and is always trying to get rid of other animals in the house where he lives, but sometimes, in a hidden way, shows compassion for his family. Sylvester grew up with Steve and his other cat, Ibanez, who lived with Steve for two months before disappearing in December of 2008. Ibanez was arguably the only other cat that Sylvester considered as a friend. Though, in their first video together, it was apparent that he was unhappy by Ibanez's presence. In his second and last appearance in the video, Cream of Corn Dog, Sylvester had clearly accepted Ibanez and become friends with him. They can be seen cuddling and lying together. In Sylvester's blog post, Quick Post, it was made clear that he and Ibanez were good friends. They had plans to run away and live together with Todd. Ibanez, however, made it to Todd's house before Sylvester, who ultimately did not get the chance to go. It is possible that Sylvester now holds a grudge against him for it. Steve, saddened by the fact that one of his pets went missing, asked his co-worker and friend Jimmy for a small dog as Jimmy's dog was having puppies. The puppy that Steve chose was Shelby, who made her first appearance in the episode Talking Kitty Cat 3, Kitty Bath. Shelby was very playful and happy-go-lucky, and still is today, even though she has become kind of depressed due to Sylvester constantly breaking her spirits down whenever he gets whenever she, whenever she gets near him. Steve's fourth animal was Gibson. He found Gibson's on a Craigslist ad while searching through the internet. After that, Steve did not have any more new pets for three or four years until a fourth cat showed up. Random Kitty was found in Steve's backyard with no history and no owner. Steve decided to take the cat in and has had it ever since. Steve's fifth animal, Gibson, Gibson's son, was from a litter of five kittens. Gibson was chosen by Random Kitty as the one she wanted to keep. At this time, Gibson sadly passed away. After Gibson passed away, Steve made a memorial for him entitled Gibson's Memorial, Frozen in Time. It is a special song Steve made for Gibson to deal with the loss of his cat. It includes flashbacks from the previous Talking Kitty episodes. I wouldn't recommend watching it as it may make you cry, just like it did to me. I know I've said it before, but he will live on. After Cash passed away, Sylvester moved in with Steve's wife, Cecilia DaCosta Cash. She continues updating the photos, sharing and posting status about her pet friends on Facebook. She shared Gibbyson's photo. My big fat boy, all the kitties are good, y'all. Just so you know, no worries. Shelby moved in with Darcy, the guitarist from Pause for the Cause, who has a black lab that seems to get along with Shelby. After all had been said and done, Sylvester, Shelby, Gibbonson, all actually really did have a heart and missed their daddy, Steve Cash. Although most of us never met Steve personally, we should have the utmost respect and admiration for his talents and creativity. Hopefully, he has found peace with his beloved Gibson in heaven. You and your kitties are in our prayers. Rest in peace, Steve Cash.